Hi, have you ever heard of insulin? I'm sure you have. It's one of the most important hormones in our organism. Normally, it's produced by better cells in the islands of Langerham in pancreas. Insulin works as a key that is able to open the cell to the glucose, i.e. it regulates the level of sugar in our blood. Irregulations of the level of glucose may lead to serious problems. In particular, there is diabetes, one of the most widespread incurable diseases. In the past, people used to treat diabetes by taking insulin from animals, especially pigs. To get 100 grams of insulin, you would need 800 to 1000 grams of raw material. As you can tell, it wasn't the best solution. This solution had many problems and ethical issues. Now, I would like to tell you about how humanity learned to use biotechnologies to cure diabetes. Step 1. We've got the human's DNA and the gene that is responsible for the insulin production. Also, we have a restriction enzyme and it works like scissors. We remove the insulin gene and... Step 2. Here we have an E. coli plasmid. We need to put this guy here, but it's closed, so we need the same restriction enzyme to cut it. Now we can put it here, and we need the ligase enzyme that works like a glue. We put it here, and the whole thing is called the recombinant DNA. Step 3. We don't use only one E. coli bacteria, there is like lots of them. So we make a selection that they have insulin gene and those who don't. Here we have those who have the foreign gene and the ones who don't. Step 4. Now we take only those who have the foreign gene that can produce as insulin and we give them the environment that they need. So food, temperature and the pH level should be good. And now we wait till those E. coli bacteria give us some insulin. Now we need to now we need to purify the insulin and here we have the final product. This is the insulin. And here we go. We've got insulin. The advantages of these methods are firstly, we can get insulin in a big quantity. Secondly, it's cheaper, consequently more available for people, and it's not harmful for animals, so many ethical problems are resolved.